guys, it's Belle here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I'm fresh out of the shower, did my skincare routine, I did a little self care moment and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna sit down and go through TikTok. TikTok is like one of my favorite apps, okay? And as I'm scrolling on TikTok, I come across a live. Now, usually I don't stick around for most lives. I click on this live and I was like, wait a minute, this looks like a pitch for an MLM. I shit you not, it was. And so I'm sitting here like, oh my God, wait a minute, I know this MLM. We're gonna be talking about a water cult multi-level marketing company going by the name of Enagic, I believe. Again, if I mispronounce that, please let me know. I'm doing the best that I can here. But this is what we are covering. It is a water filter or water medical grade filtration system multi-level marketing company. There's many other things I wanna discuss about it, including water culty retreats and so much more. However, I wanna kind of reintroduce this MLM back to us again, talk about the entire company Company and react to a opportunity live that I was actually watching just now that was finally uploaded onto Facebook. So we're up in today's video. Don't forget to that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel and click the bell button down below. My vlog channel, podcast and merch and everything else is in the description below. And yeah, let's get into it. Hey, okay, again, y'all, we're bringing back fucking finger hand. Real quickly, I do wanna give a mini talk about the company and show you some information about it as well. So I really wanted to actually show the income disclosure statement. It is representing the statistics of 2020. So it says the statistics below reflect the median amount of commissions earned by distributors divided by rank from sale of any Enagic products in 2020. It says in 2020, 50% of Enagic distributors made more than $440 and the other half made less. 66% of all Enagic distributors made less than $1,000 in 2020. That's not including taxes. That's not including the cost that it would have in order to purchase the machine or anything else that is happening with it. Maybe any other potential renewal fees or just any other costs that usually are incurred when it comes to MLM. And again, most people don't make any money in MLMs, which is why I have a big problem with this. So we're gonna start a little bit earlier with some of the product and then dive into the MLM part of it. This is what you guys are paid and I want you guys to remember this, okay? This is chlorine. So um, Google atrazine, what atrazine does to the body, especially if you know somebody who is pregnant, this is a widely used pesticide here in the United States. It has been banned in the European Union for years. Why is it banned there, but widely used here? Again, knowledge isn't free, you have to be paying attention. Science fact, not fiction. You're not sick, you're thirsty. Stop treating your sickness with medication. All disease comes from the same root cause, too much acidity. Removing acidic waste is far more effective than diet and exercise. Uh, okay, I'm very confused on where this whole Miss Medical Advice is coming through. None of these people have any sort of actual basis to talk about this from a medical standpoint. I literally have checked this individual's Facebook page. There is nothing proving to me that she has any sort of education to where I should listen to what she has to say. So many times I've come across people in MLMs when it comes to the health and wellness world, they utilize a lot of fear mongering, as acting as if they have a product that is the, what's gonna change your life. And additionally, I would also like to say, there's a lot on the line here for her to be making all these claims and fear mongering. There's a couple thousand dollar machine that's waiting here. So I'm just saying. The resistance say without enough water, your body goes to sink and then goes into fat storing. Okay, you can look it up. And, and look at all of these people that drink our water. This is crazy, right? This, you guys know this guy right here, Kevin Hart, right? Mm -hmm. He said if he was, I, 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 you go, y'all need to drink some ponga water. He goes, I don't know what it is, brother, but it's got my skin shining. And I don't believe what they say. You guys should Google it. He said it, I didn't say it. Okay? All of these people, we know the guy who sold to him. Okay, who else? We know the guy who sold to uh, Floyd Mayweather as well. Right? Look at what do these people know that we don't? What do these people know that we don't? Can I also add, a celebrity doesn't mean that they are smarter, okay? Because this is what we're doing right now is they're sitting here and trying to do the celebrity endorsement stuff. Now, again, that doesn't mean that they're celebrities that aren't smart or not ethical or not really wonderful that we would like to listen to. Well, of course, putting a little bit of a ridiculous glorification on this, which makes me not trust her because acting as if, oh, well, what do they know that we don't? Well, they have money, babe. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. It's not like they know way, way more all the time. It's not like they're smarter inherently. And it's it's not like they're continuously buying from an MLM. I highly doubt that they're buying from an MLM. What do these people have access to that the common people do not have? And they are not out here selling machines. They heard about this through word of mouth. through people who are paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to educate them on the best of the best. 75% water in your body is. What do you think this, what do you think the type of water these people are drinking? Okay. Um, and this is it, you guys. We're going to talk a little bit about. I turned my uh, I turned my clothing boutique 
into a wellness facility. I went from a non-essential business to an essential business because water is essential to all life. You agree? Right? Yeah. Clothes weren't essential to all life. If I had not pivoted into something that was making a bigger impact in the world, I would have lost everything. The climate of our world affects everybody. The this is another thing of fear mongering that I think is really wild and ridiculous to me because now she's pivoting to, well, hey, the pandemic though, you guys remember the pandemic, the pandemic, I used to be a clothing boutique, but now I decided instead I'm going to be a part of the health and wellness world. I was still doing good. No, you're a part of an MLM. That didn't change anything. You, especially during the pandemic, do you honestly think that people were dropping thousands of dollars on your shit? No. You know what they probably were doing though? This is just my guesstimate. They're probably joining your MLM because you kept claiming that they can make money off of this when that was statistically not true. Every single person needs to be making $5,000 more this year just to live the same that they did last year because of inflation. What are you doing about that? Do you have a plan? So here you guys, I'm going to give you guys some tips. Look at it. Look at it. Look, you guys recognize this sign, the boutique sign? I was like, this is three grand. I am not getting rid of that sucker. <laughs> I repurposed it. And I had Louie, who I met on social media, who's an artist, who freehanded this for me. He said, I'm with, I'm with this movement. This water changed my life. It changed my daughter's life. I'm going to paint this for you for free. I got connected to somebody who truly cared about this movement and what we were doing. I put this sign up here, and while the whole entire world closed, we persisted to stay open. And you guys can see, it doesn't matter your age or your race or your background. That is the problem with MLMs, though. That's actually what happened during the pandemic, and I think that was why there was such an explosion of people looking into MLMs, because there were so many letters that the FTC actually sent out to MLMs because of the ways that they were recruiting people and misleading people into the MLM. People lost their jobs. I lost my jobs. A lot of MLM companies and just people in MLMs as a whole were like, hey, this can change your life. This can change your life. Like, you should join because I'm able to be stable because I work from home. You should too. That is why everyone joined immensely and when she's like well anyone anyone can join it doesn't matter who you are yeah anyone in an MLM will take anyone as long as it's a body that could be counted as a recruit into the system and people drink water look at right here helping people change their life through the through a pandemic okay I also give back for those of you who are, are charitable and like to give back to other causes I uh, we help nonprofits we've given away almost 8,000 gallons of water to just get roll in this area can I get a round of applause yeah. And the toilet paper and the beans were gone. You guys remember that, right? <laughs> is water important? I have people calling me telling me, Whitney, I'm spending $200 a month. Math is not an opinion. Math is not an opinion, you guys. So we're actually, what started with 50 gallons turns into over 8,000 gallons in the last few years. Okay, here we are at Skid Row. This is on a Mother's Day event. And as our movement gets bigger and bigger, we call more and more people and say, hey, can you fill up gallons and let's get back to our community. Let's go back to, let's go into Skid Row where people do not go. Let's have conversations and, and actually real, real meaningful conversations with people that, that literally don't have food. Okay, so what I'm personally seeing when it comes to this presentation is there's a very specific pattern and flow and it's smart because people that are naive to MLMs are gonna fall for this. The beginning of it is talking about water, health, wellness, and you need to do something about it. Hence, it's putting a very immense need on the machine, right? They're putting that first. Now they're talking about changing lives through the pandemic. Now we're talking about giving back. Now we're talking about how to fix the problem. And then after all these very emotionally sensitive topics, topics are getting talked about, we're going to transition into the business topic. It is setting you up to manipulate you into thinking that this is the answer. And when people are in a vulnerable spot or don't know any better, yeah, they're going to fall for this. And it's done well to where people actually think that this can do something for them. Or a pot to piss in. I, I work with a nonprofit. She gives this water to cancer people, cancer patients, and people with autoimmune diseases. I want you guys to think about the potential and where this can take you. And you guys, um, you hear, we, we donated over a thousand gallons in one drop. I met, I met most of these people on social media. I never met these people before I came into this community, but I got surrounded around the community with people that wanted to help other people. And I was like, what can we do together? Because for a long time, I was on my entrepreneurial journey by myself. So I was super grateful to find this and uh, wrap my head around it because I was like, this is the last thing I would ever do. And I really understood that this was my calling my whole entire life, that everything in my life has been leading me up to this point. 
okay? You guys can hear it in my voice in this conviction. So how much is your family's health worth to you? This machine is forty nine eighty. It's a one-time investment for your... Bingo, there it is. Okay, so now they're stating, okay, after all these very emotionally triggering statements, a lot of these things about your family helping other people, changing lives, changing your life financially, physically, with your health and everything else, now we're talking about the actual price. So she's saying it's around 4,900 issues around, okay, around 5K, let's be real here. She's saying it's an investment. This is where it is alarming to me. I'm all for investing in certain products. If you find something that's really worth it and worth your time and money, that's wonderful. However, again, Again, who normally has money like that laying around to buy a product like that? Majority of the people do not. That's why one, joining a company like this is just not smart in general because at least you should be, again, fuck MLMs. I do not recommend you joining any of them. You will lose money. But if someone's going to, I it would at least make more sense to me if they join a company that had like lotion, right? Right? Makes sense. Not horribly expensive. People buy this stuff. Okay, cool. This is an event that's pitching to regular people, right? It's not like they're specifically having a target demographic of people with big money. It's people that are everyday people who do not have this kind of money. And so it's very icky to me how they're pushing this right now and it's horribly expensive. Entire family. This is literally like getting this machine into your home and having a little a living water aquifer that you can give out for free to people that you love and you care about for the rest of your life. Okay, no, I'm sorry. If you want to make sure that your water is better, try to have more purification, whatever the case may be, Brita filters. I'm telling you, they're amazing. They're wonderful. I've seen people test out the pH levels and shit. They work, okay? I literally have a filter. I will have, I will have, you know what? Fuck that. I'm going to have all of it linked in the description below because because this is the stuff that I have in my house that I love and that I work. I have stuff attached to my sinks. You can also have stuff for shower heads if you want. You can have stuff attached to, you can have literally a dispenser in your fridge. There's many, many things that you can do to help with the quality of your water that aren't horrifically expensive, but still doing the job. Do not fall for this kind of stuff. For the rest of your life, over 30 plus years, right? Crazy, right? We burn our money on a lot of things. A lot of people driving nice cars out here, don't get me wrong. But these same people who are driving 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollar cars are also the same people that saying, I don't have money for that. <laughs> cool, but I'm gonna be the one living a lot longer. Okay, that is gross. Saying, oh, well, there's people that drive fifty, sixty thousand dollar $60,000 cars, but they're like, I don't have money for that. <clears throat> and then she's like, well, I'm gonna be living a lot longer. Okay, Jan, I also don't like the argument of trying to pick and choose what people spend money on. And it's one thing to say, hey, don't spend money on something, it's a scam. Okay, that makes sense. But to then shame people for spending money on things like a car or whatever that's actually could be really beneficial to them and is a part of their everyday life and saying that, well, if you have money for a car or for this, then you should have money for a water machine. Babe, if they have money for a water machine that's $5,000, they probably would rather put that into savings or do something else for their family. Crazy, right? We burn our money on a lot of things. A lot of people driving nice cars out here, don't get me wrong. But these same people who are, people who are driving 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 thousand dollar cars are also the same people that saying, I don't have money for that. <laughs> cool, but I'm gonna be the one living a lot longer. You know, I'm gonna be the one living a lot longer because I was actually able to invest in something that was going to benefit my life and not, I don't care what people, like, look, look at my bank account, look at my car, okay? So, and, and, and hey, we, we, we spend a lot of money, we waste our money on a lot of things. Look at how much, a 15 year total cost, you guys take a picture of this. Dasani, 15 year total cost if you're drinking a gallon a day, $20,000 a year for 15 years. Aquafina, $17,000. Uh, Fiji, $96,000. Evian, $82,000. Delivery, for those of you who get Arrowhead and Sparklets, it's still $16,000. Farm with home delivery, $15,000. Are you guys going to be drinking water for longer than 15 years? And what about your household? Because you're not just drinking it. You're washing your food in it. You're giving it to your pets. You're giving it to your kids. You guys are, drinking, you guys are utilizing a lot more than a gallon of water a day. This machine can make a gallon of water in a minute. You guys stop renting your water through this. And you guys can actually own your water source and give it to anybody that can benefit from. Incredible. What? Own your water source? Okay, quick question. The machine doesn't develop the water out of pure fucking thin air. You put water through it and it filters it, correct? So you're still pulling water from the tap, which you have to pay for. You don't own the source. I'm done. I'm done. Super easy payment plans, you guys. You guys can get this machine. You guys, there's so many ways to finance this machine. Go back to the person that gave it to you. And I don't care if you, if you guys got stellar credit, you guys can get the best deal. 
and the, and the biggest tax write-off. If you guys got no credit and your and your credit score is like Kanye one or negative eight hundred. How is that funny that you're encouraging people who have really, really bad credit and probably might be needing to work on that in other ways, in a secure way? Why are you encouraging them to buy a machine? Look at this. One of the parts behind her says platinum, zero down $65 a month approximately. That's going to take years to pay off. Making a payment plan for something like this sounds so risky because what's the APR on that? I'm still give you a machine. <laughs> And you just gotta put a little bit of money down, and where there's a will, there's a way. There's a will, where there's a will, there's a way. I was talking to a guy with disability today. He was telling me all the issues that he had with his health. He's getting his machine in January. And I said, hey, let's see if you like the water and, and take a look at this opportunity because you need the financial. Oh my God. So you're telling me that she met a, a man that has some disabilities or a disability and got the water machine, which is already very expensive. And you're already saying, well, try the water and then join the business opportunity because I know you need the money. People are out here hurting, you guys, living paycheck to paycheck. What kind of life is that? So when you get in this machine, and I love it, I can save somebody some money from the IRS, ooh, I'm gonna do that for you, okay? Because if you a W-2 employee, you're the most taxed. And you just don't understand because you're an employee, you've been an employee, which is most people are, which I was, okay? But I've also worked for myself, and now I have a corporation, and now I own a system. So it would behoove all of you to make this investment before December 31st because what's coming in in January, February? Literally in a couple months, you guys can get your money back. You guys can offset your income and lower your tax liability and take advantage of the system. People get mad that Donald Trump don't pay no taxes. It's legal. He's working the system. That's, this is a paradigm shift. I know y'all ain't going to Blockbuster and, and, and running over and pulling the video back and being like, is it there? <laughs> Some of you don't even know what I'm talking about, Brie, you don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Hotels, motels, right? <laughs> Airbnb, right? Taxi cabs to Uber. Flip phones to iPhone. Gas vehicles to Tesla. Retail stores to Amazon. I know this because I own a retail store. And I was feeling the effects of the paradigm shift of the world. Because I used to work for Nordstrom and customer service used to be belly to belly, person to person. Customer service is not. Let's talk. <laughs> I just pause this with my little finger hand. The paradigm shift she's alluding to. Her analogy is not making up. So she's talking about like Blockbuster to Netflix, gas vehicles to Tesla, retail stores to Amazon, and their shifts to up to new and better things. And she's talking about, about how apparently instead of buying soda, you're gonna wanna rent a machine. No. Literally in what fucking world? If there's maybe different machines that are more affordable, sure. Okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna be honest with you here. Water is not gonna always replace a fucking Diet Coke for some people. Like, it's not gonna do that. Her making this comparison of gas cars to Tesla is the same as going from buying bottled water to buying a $5,000 machine. Big, big jump, babe, and it's not the same. I like that anymore. Customer service is how fast, how quick, how cheap, and can I return it for free? Do you guys agree? Do you guys see that paradigm shift? This is the greatest paradigm shift of our lifetime because there are 8 billion people in the world and 100% of them all drink water. Most of them are paying for it or they're filtering through their- Okay, but most people cannot drop thousands of dollars on this and most of them don't want to be involved with an MLM, which you technically are automatically a part of once you join this company. Like, most people want affordable drinking water. Affordable drinking water and accessible drinking water. You do not fall into that category. Britta drinking tap water with all the chlorine and all the stuff thinking they're getting something good. So we're getting away from plastic bottled waters and we're going into sustainability because we cannot sustain our planet the way that it has been. For those of you who have children, what are you, how are you going to leave this planet? Trash Island, there's a, there's a, a island that's like twice the size of Texas in the Pacific Ocean of trash and plastic. It takes 500 years to degrade. Right? Do you care about your planet? Do you care about your carbon footprint? Like, let's think about that. Bottled water only became a thing in the 70s. In the 70s. It's not even that long ago. But all the trash and all the things we cannot sustain that way, you guys. And even in, in Europe, they're banning, they're banning plastic. Plastic being banned in Europe. Single-use plastic. 
And that's going to be happening up all over the world. So the Enagic business, you guys, it's an explosive business with massive, or massive earning potential. It's built in a solid foundation. It's built in the Japanese marketplace. It's been there. It's barely coming to other places around the world. Only half percent of the global population even knows that this exists. It's a proven product in a brand new marketplace. You can talk to a thousand people and only one of them is going to know about this. Consider yourself lucky that you're sitting in this room tonight. Major U.S. and global expansion. This is health and wellness. It's in a massive industry. This is true direct sales program, not traditional MLM. And for those of you who are not interested in the business, that's totally cool. Get the tax deduction. Get the tax deduction at the bare minimum. Save more of your bottom line. Stop giving it to the IRS. Notice how she says, we'll get your tax deduction. The thing of why she wants people to do this is because I believe when you purchase a product, you are able to be a part of the business. Just like iGenius, for example, if you start and get the service, you are technically still a part of the business. It's just a matter if you want to run with the business or not. If someone joins with her and buys a product, she heavily benefits off of that. It's why she would so heavily encourage people to just do it anyways, because at the end of the day, it goes towards her volume and everything that's so significant to her in the recruitment aspect. So of course she's going to be like, please join my damn team. I mean, ugh, sorry, buy a water machine to help with your health. Really? Yes. Okay, take advantage of the system that's built for us to learn and to take advantage of, okay? So no, this is not multi-level. This is not a pyramid scheme. This is not get one of your five friends, bring their five friends, and you're all going to drive a Ferrari. This is a true direct sale. I can't. <laughs> it says MLM's pyramid. Direct sales over down. We're different. I know the, like the term pyramid scheme is a pyramid shaped scheme, okay? But not every pyramid shaped system is a scheme. For example, corporate America, some people are like, well, corporate America is a pyramid scheme and you guys just don't talk about it. No, it can be a problem, but it is not a pyramid scheme. Pyramid scheme definitions could range from talking about many things, but what they highlight is the dependency on recruitment. That's where it becomes a pyramid scheme. So right here, they're trying to act as if this isn't a pyramid and this isn't an MLM specifically though. They're immediately diving into the ways, quote unquote, debunking what people have have to think about this MLM. And so it blows my mind because she's saying, well, it's direct sales over and down. You know what? If we flip, if we actually look at the way that she's going to explain it here soon, it is not over and down. That is literally not how this works in any capacity. Because you know what's so funny about this? The far left is probably, because I, I swear I've seen this before, like this diagram before, the far left is probably going to be the first rank. Then the next one's going to be second, third, fourth, fifth. And guess what? They're going to get a little bit bigger. You flip it upright. What's it going to be? Still, still an MLM, babe. And this company is an MLM. That is true. That has been proven. That is a fact. The fact that they are trying to make you not think it's an MLM is super duper alarming. It's such a huge red flag. Sales program. It works like real estate, so it's over and down. It's like owning your own brokerage agency, okay? And I love this business because it's business without headache. There's no sign-up fee. All you need to do is buy the machine and get the tax card off. And you don't even have to decide right away if you want to do business. So just, just start drinking the water and if you like it, hey. Talk to the person I introduced you and, and it only takes nine referrals for you guys to recoup your investment. We're not an MLM. We're not a scam, but it, oh, it only takes nine. Look, look at that. That worked out so well. Nine people to get, come join you. That is weird. When you need to or get people to join you then pretty much to do this, then that's an issue. Also, one other thing, it's so funny to me. When all of your customers are people inside the system, that is a problem. You know what's so funny about this? She's like, well, it's fine. Just order the product. And like, it's you know, you're technically a part of the business. You just can decide if you want to run it later. That's still someone that is joining the business, a part of the business, and a customer at the same time. Probably what you're not gonna find is people that are outside of the MLM purchasing these products. It's always people that are joining in for the business opportunity. This is screaming pyramid scheme, dude. This truly is, that's what I believe. My fiance doesn't do this business. He owns his own HVAC commercial business. He connects me to one person. That one person then connects me to other people. My fiance has 50 sales in his organization. He will have earned over $34,000 because he introduced me to one person. One person. Think about that. So he's happy when he gets the checks. And I'm happy because I'm like, hey, we got the shower for free. And now I'm helping you get some passive income and, and all of that, right? And what does Warren Buffett say? If you don't find a way to make money and you're sick, you're only working until you die. And I, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be working until I die, right? I don't want to be doing that. Again, now with back to another emotionally triggering topic, talking about, well, you don't want to work until you die. Well, this is the way to do it. Again, false claims. This is truly screaming a pyramid scheme. We're literally going through the checklist at this point, displaying how this is literally 
alarming red flags being waved, talking about money potential, how this can help you not work until you die, how this can change your health, this can change your life, false claims. This is not true. This is absolutely ridiculous. And the income disclosure statement shows completely otherwise. I want to be working until I'm 60 for somebody else. This is why I was 26 years old. I had to find my own path, right? No qualifications, you guys. There's no stocking and loading of inventory. There's no annual renewal. renewal. There's easy financing for everybody. International sponsoring. You guys can meet anybody. It doesn't matter if you're online or offline. I've met so many people on social media and I help them all over the world. This business pays daily and I want to reiterate that this is a patented business model. So what you guys are about to see right now, you guys have not seen anywhere else. The way it's modeled after is like really A patented business model? So because it's got, it looks like a fork with extra legs, it's patented? Just because it looks like a rake, it's patented even though it's the same fucking thing what's patented the shape of it give me a br i'm done for a way to make more income from home because of what happened over the last few years we all experienced that on a global scale i don't care who you're talking to so this is how it works you guys there are eight points of commission that get cut out with every single machine so one point of the k8 commission is 340 dollars so every time you sell a machine there are eight pieces of the pie that get cut out to the distributors okay and I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, that's why it's so expensive. Because all there's all these points that get paid out to the distributors. Well, I want to ask you guys, why does the iPhone only cost 30 bucks to make, but y'all pay 1500 for it? Because of this. The manufacturing, the advertising costs, the wholesalers, the retailers, the, retailers, the salespeople, and then it gets to the consumer. I did this in my old brick and, mo brick and mortar business model. This is what I'm telling you. Knowledge isn't free, you have to pay attention. I'm saving you guys the trouble. Don't believe me or believe me. I'm just telling you right now, this is just anyone in general. Talking like that is rude. Talking like that and pitching an MLM or any business thing for that matter, that is being an ass. That's not being professional. That is not getting someone to trust you. That is not instilling trust. That's just being a shit, okay? Like that is not normal. That's not appropriate. So let's talk about what she is showing here about the marketing structure. So yes, a lot of different companies, there's manufacturing, advertising, and a lot of other things that are what creates the pricing of products. And then of course, there are many companies, for example, Apple, the Jack, the price up it is not necessary for it to cost that much but they do because they know that everyone wants them no matter what so therefore they can get away with it this is the problem why i think it's still wrong and why there is no need to jack up the price but why they do it instead so they act like they jack up the price to help other people and to have it to where oh well that money goes back to the distributors most people don't make any money with that if it actually went back to the distributors we would see a higher median when it comes to income instead what it does is it has it to where a bunch of people join they know they're not going to have to pay as much in marketing because they have a bunch of people essentially working for free and so what in my opinion happens is they realize if they have enough people who join cluelessly who probably aren't going to get paid for all of their work they're going to make stupid money and probably more than what someone would make if they had to pay for marketing they're essentially in my opinion profiting off of free labor and so they're acting as if well it's going back to you know the distributors it's so much better no it's not no it's not you know like i'm just here telling my experience i'm telling my truth so I dealt with the manufacturers, I had advertising costs, I worked with the wholesalers, I was a retailer, I had a sales rep, and how much profit do you think was left on the $50, $40, $30 product that I was in with that? I did that for six years. And then when I saw what I'm about to show you right now, it made so much sense. Because all of these marketing dollars get paid to the independent distributors. We work with the manufacturer, we broker from the manufacturer, they create this incredible medical device, we, through word of mouth, go and share all of our experience and what happened, and then we broker it to the consumer. So instead of paying the Kardashians, I'm telling you, you guys, Google the Kardashians in essential water. You guys think that's on accident? It's like Kim, like, hey! I was like, hey! Courtney's like, hey! You guys think that's on accident? You guys think they do that for free? Kylie and the sister, the other one, Kendall, they have these machines and they drink this water. How do I know? Because we know the people that sold it to them. Okay? And we know how it went down through word of mouth. So all these advertising costs that will go to all of these celebrities and all of these athletes, they don't even drink it. It gets cut to you as the distributor because every single company has a marketing budget. Okay? 
and our company doesn't pay any marketing because we pay back to the distributors. So you guys want to talk about conscious consumerism? You know exactly where this money is going. It's going into the people and to the families and to the, to the people that are here doing the work. It's not going to Pepsi. It's not going... Okay. No, because if it was actually going back to the families and people promoting this, we would have higher medians in your income disclosure statement. But clearly we see completely opposite represented in your own company's data. So let's not. It's not going to Coca-Cola. It's not going to Nestle. You know exactly where it is going. So you tell me where the scam is. Mm. And you tell me whose pockets you want to keep filling for the rest of your life. Okay? Something I'm going to say, if you have to fight so hard and not have the capacity to easily prove that what you're doing is a scam, I got some news for you and you're not going to like it. It's a scam, babe. If you literally have to continuously keep defending about why it's not a scam and you can't easily do it and have easy proof to it, it's one thing if people question your stuff. Again, people question me. So I have to have evidence and proof to show why my argument is legit and worth listening to. If you can't do that, you have to always be like, well, it's not a scam. Not a scam. It's probably a scam. <laughs> so here's how it works, you guys. Your first two sales. On your first two sales, you earned three hundred and forty dollars. That's great. I sold to my mom. My mom saw this. She thought I was crazy. And I said, "Mom, just come to a meeting." She came to a meeting. She saw a Harvard doctor talking about this. She's a teacher. She said, "I understand it. I want this machine." Sold to my mom. I got three hundred forty dollars. That's great. She's just a consumer. And then I'm gonna teach you guys a little hack because I was gonna bring in my friend like right here on my second mandatory sale, but I knew this guy was gonna hit it out of the park. So I ended up buying a product for myself because you guys can do that and, and expedite your success. So I ended up buying the two- Ah, oh, wow. Okay, that's fine. So yeah, what she's saying is I can buy products inside of my MLM and expedite my success. Her words, not mine. And it will help me out. That is essentially, that's rank buying. That's also additionally customers inside of the MLM, not external customers by any means. I work for myself and I satisfied the second mandatory lane. And then I brought in my friend Steven and my friend Steven is in real estate. And he said, I've known about alkalinized water. I've known about this trend. I know a lot of people who can benefit from this. I'm in real estate. So this compensation structure I understand this compensation structure. So I sold to Steven, and, and this is this is um, this is uh, um, this is still. Um, I know what you're saying. You're like, where's the leverage? Where's the power? Where's the passive income in this? So I sold to my friend Steven. I got six hundred and eighty dollars, and then I went to Costa Rica. And while I was in Costa Rica, Steven sold six machines. So I got six eighty six times. You guys do the math. I love how she's like, this is a patented business concept or whatever, or compensation, plan, whatever the hell you want to call it. This is not an MLM. This is not a pyramid scheme. How is it then that you are showing and literally showing a downline? You're just showing it in a horizontal line. You're not showing it up and down like most of the time or a spider web. You're showing it right now sideways. You guys can see how quickly you can pay, earn your machine back, right? So Steven sold six machines. And I got 686 times. He was just starting, so he got 340, 340, 680, 680, 680, 680. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So he sold six machines. I ended up selling three. I sold one to my mom and to myself, and then I sold it to another friend in high school, and I, got, I helped her get the tax deduction. So that brought my group to 10. Because you were paid on direct and indirect sales. So this is what I'm saying, where my fiance connected me to one person, Okay, my fiance sold the machine, he got $340, he now has that person, then connected me to over 50 people, so my fiance got 340 times 50, his, he's on his way to 100 sales, so by the time he gets the top rank of the company, he will have earned $34,000 just because he knows me. <laughs> How nice is that? Clearly, this is a people business. When your residual income is about how many people you get enticed into the system, that is gross. They're trying to act as if it is all about selling the water machine when it's truly, in my opinion, from what I'm seeing, it's not just about it because the only way to join the business, you are counted all the same. You're counted all as customers. I love how it shows the majority of your residual income kicks in when other people are doing this stuff for you, not when you actually are curating the sales. Right, so even if you don't want to do this business, like, just connect it to the person so you can get a free machine. It only takes nine referrals. So yeah, when your group hits a total of 10 total sales on your 11th direct sale, you start opening up $1,020 franchise lanes. How crazy is that? But what happens if that person goes out and sells three machines that in this lane?
You get 1,020, 1,020, 1,020. They're just starting. They get 340, 340, 680. And this is not a pyramid because we pay from the bottom up. This is what? Oh my God. Oh my God. It's not a pyramid because we pay down. Huh? The top people get paid the most. And then you slowly pay down to where, yeah, most people at the bottom, which is the majority of them, don't make shit. I don't care how you draw it. I don't care if you use a Sharpie. I don't care if you use a dry erase marker. It still ends up being an MLM and it's still having a dependency on recruitment. I don't give a shit if it's a circle. It's a fucking scam however you draw it. <laughs> Why? The people who bring you in are very motivated to help you be successful because it's shared success. But as you are longer in this business, you start accumulating more points. And then it starts to teeter in your favor, right? When your group, your total group gets a total of 20 sales, you start opening up 1360 franchise lanes. That's crazy. I met a guy on social media, okay? He saw, he, he, he joined me, sold him a machine, got 1360. He has over 40 sales in his organization. So I have received 40 checks for 1360 down to 340, depending on where they are here in this organization, you guys. How crazy is that? When your group hits a total of 50 group sales, you get another promotion. You start earning $1,700 per sale. So what happens when you sell to somebody? I sold to the nonprofit. Again, additionally, as we look at it, it is genuinely building up a pyramid as we're looking at this. But again, even if it wasn't, again, drawn out like a pyramid, it is still run like a pyramid scheme from what we're being displayed and shown here. You make more money when you have more people on a downline. You have more income the second that you have more people on a downline. It literally shows the group volume sales as those go up, as people are recruiting the system, that means you are gonna make far more on machine sales than anyone else brought into the company. So therefore, by definition, what she's representing to us, it is looking as if this is a pyramid scheme to me. In this franchise lane, the nonprofit purchased a the machine. They now put it, they bought it through their nonprofit. They use this water to sponsor their cancer patients, people with autoimmune diseases. That nonprofit then connects me to a very reputable doctor's office in Yorba Linda. Now the doctor's office has it in her office and she's giving it out to her patients. What type of referrals and overrides do you think are gonna happen here? Crazy, right? How insane is that? And then once you get the top rank of the company, your group has a total of 100 total sales. Right? Isn't that crazy? You earn 2,040 per connection and you stay there for the rest of your life. You stay there for the rest of your life. So do we have any um, two A's or three A's in the room? Can you guys like stand up? Yes, love it. Give, give these people a round of applause. Okay, so let's pause this here. At the end of the day, this is really misleading to say the least, acting as if this can bring you really great potential income when clearly the numbers show otherwise. And additionally, acting as if that this is not an MLM is very misleading too. And then with the fear mongering, the emotional manipulation, and then taking advantage of other people, I think it's just overall disgusting. So this is kind of my representation so far of what this MLM is looking like. The rest of this video is kind of just like, oh, look at the other people that are our top leaders. Like that's pretty much about it. So that was it for today's video. If you guys want me to cover this MLM or any other MLMs for that, matter email me comment down below whatever the case may be and i would love to get into that don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video stay glowing my beautiful queens love you bye